in the new question a discrete random variable r has mean 6 and standard deviation under root 2 if it is assumed that the random variable that is r is binomial what is the probability that 5 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 7 now the random variable r is binomial so to calculate any probability first we should have n p and q so we have to find n p and q because all these three are absent but we have mean and in a binomial distribution for any binomial distribution mean is always np and that is given to be 6 standard deviation is always under root npq that is given to be 2 so np equals to 6 and npq equals to 2 under root npq is under root 2 so npq must be 2 now first we can find q q is npq divided by np that is 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3 and q is 1 minus p so p is also 1 minus q that is 1 minus 1 by 3 therefore p equals to 2 by 3 now we have np np equals to 6 that means n into 2 by 3 equals to 6 that means n equals to 6 into 3 by 2 that means n is 9 in this way first we have to find the values of n p and q now we can calculate probability of r being 5 or 6 or 7 because probability of 5 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 7 that means r is either 5 or more but at the same time it is 7 or less so r is either 5 or 6 or 7 so we just now require to calculate probability of these three values probability of r success is equals to ncr into p raised to r into q raised to n minus r probability of 5 successes is out of 9 9 c 5 into 2 by 3 rest to 5 into 1 by 3 rest to 4 what is n c 5 it is n 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 4 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 4 and 2 can be cancelled with 8, 3 can be cancelled with 9 by 3. So it is p into 7 into 6. 126 is it? Into 2 raised to 5, 32. 3 raised to 5. What is 3 raised to 5? 3, 9, 27, 81 and 243 into 1 by 3 raised to 4 so it is 81 now just simplify the case number 2 probability of 6 successes it is 9 c 6 into 2 by 3 raised to 6 into 1 by 3 raised to 9 minus 6 means 3. 9 C 6. 9 C 6. It is 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 3 factorial. That means 3 into 2 into 1. 3 cancelled against 9. 2 cancelled against 8. Is it 84? Into 2 raised to 6. 64 and 3 raised to 6 243 into 3 it should be 729 1 raised to 3 is 1 3 raised to 3 is 27 <coughs> you can obtain the same denominator in all the three cases and the last is p of 7 
equals to 9 C 7 into 2 by 3 raised to 7 into 1 by 3 raised to 2. Now what is 9 C 7? 9 C 7 is always equal to 9 C 2. And what is 9 C 2? 9 into 8 divided by 2. So it is 36, is it? Into 2 by 2 raised to 7 rather. It is 128. And 3 raised to 7, that means 729 into 3 again. What is it? 2187 into 1 raised to 2 1 and 3 raised to 2 9. Again simplify this case. Common denominator should be 19,683, is it? 19,683. Six that is nine four zero eight plus four six zero eight. It is one four one zero. Yes, one four zero one six. Is it? And now you can convert it into a decimal. But the important thing in this case is first we have to find n, p, and q, and they can be found in through this route only. First we can find q with the help of NP and NPQ available from the question or problem then P is nothing, it is 1 minus Q and then substitute the value of P into NP the result is 